Sasha, and this is Always Be Crafting. Now, if I've edited this right, you'll have seen that this morning has been very busy, and I have already made a trip to Target Boutique, and I've already filled my diffuser with my new little watering goose. Should I call it my watering goose? My watering duck? I'm not really sure what it is, a goose or a duck, but I love it. And now I am at crafty location number two. And I am, I had to fix the wheels on my, um, it's a grocery cart, but I use it for my music. So I go around to different preschools and in some preschools they have their own instruments. So I don't have to bring anything more than, you know, my bag and my ukulele. And in other preschools, I bring a cart filled with instruments. And I used to bring like a rolling suitcase basically. And over time that suitcase had a lot of wear and a lot of tear and it wasn't as functional and it was heavy. It added a lot of weight and that really hurt my back over time. It just wasn't as functional as I had hoped it would be. And I did really get my, monies, uh, my money out of it. Like the money I invested in buying the suitcase, which wasn't a huge amount of money, but it was an investment. Everything's an investment, right? So I definitely got my money out of it and it served its purpose. It served its purpose well for years. And then during the pandemic, when I was teaching outdoors, like all the time, I was using a wagon, a collapsible wagon, because I was bringing much more than instruments. I was bringing a folding chair and a large boom box that could um, amplify music much further distances because we were, you know, social distancing. But now we're indoors again. We don't have that social distancing anymore. Sometimes we're masked, sometimes we're unmasked, sort of depends on how people are feeling and what the precautions each school and each family are taking. And I get to bring a smaller collection of instruments to certain places. And so I decided to let go, release the broken luggage, it had served me well for years, but it was no longer serving me well. The wagon was too large, too cumbersome. I wouldn't go, um, one location, the location I'm teaching at today actually has stairs. So getting a wagon upstairs is almost impossible. And it's too large for me to just kind of lift up the five stairs. It's not a lot of stairs, but it didn't make it, it didn't make my life easier. It made my life harder um, to bring in the instruments. So it, it, it made it worse. <laughs> not better. Um, and the instruments are too cumbersome. I'd have to take two trips to bring everything in. So I needed something. So I got a grocery cart. But um, as one friend said, it was very Brooklyn and the wheels kept falling off. So I zip tied them on today as uh, hopefully you saw that in the in the little zoomy zoom fast fast speed, uh, time lapse video. And then I said, you know what? The weather outside is frightful. It's a rainy, rainy February day. And um, it reminded me some of my bags are not waterproof. They're gonna be fine today, but for future, I thought, why don't I start on a basket that fits this grocery cart specifically? So something specific for this grocery cart that is also waterproof. And I have this car vinyl. This is headliner vinyl. So you can buy this lots of different places. You can get it at fabric stores, like big box stores. You can get it automotive stores. You can get it online, but it is a padded vinyl. So it's waterproof on the outside. It is easy to sew with. You should have seen me sewing with it. And I just created, I measured my cart and I sewed a box. So now it's not perfect because obviously I made a boo-boo and had to re-sew. Who cares? Who cares? So now I've got the basic shape. Now I need to line it and create um, a safe place for my instruments. I love that this is padded already. It's gonna make it very easy to put instruments into, especially kids who like to kind of toss things in. They're not um, super soft. You know, things go in a little harder than, um, than intended because they're excited to put things away. And I had this great fabric that um, in my stash, this rainbow fabric, it was left over from a pride collection at Michael's Crafts. 
and I think I even got it on sale. So I just love that. And I actually am making, you can kind of see a little sneak peek here. I had made a backpack for my music stuff to go to preschools a year ago, before I really knew how to make backpacks. It was kind of a disaster. <laughs> and I, after using it for a couple of months, I decided to take the whole thing apart. But I want to reuse the fabric and the pieces. And so I'm going to be turning it into something else. So to go along with this grocery cart idea, this, this fabric is going to be reused in this pattern, the sidekick. Now you can see it, um, it's, it was designed to like go on a walker, but a lot of people use it like on the arm of a chair, like for, you know, like uh, any kind of arm that has like an outdoor chair, like a camping chair. Um, it has Velcro on the inside to keep the two sides together. You can strap it around to keep uh, for uh, security purposes. It's a wonderful pattern. I haven't done it yet, but I just happen to have the right size fabric cuts when pulling apart my backpack. So again, musical fabric. Look how pretty. I mean, I love this. It's Fisher Price. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Fisher Price little xylophones. Did you guys have the Fisher Price xylophone? I know my kids did. So, and this is already, you know, on the soft and stable that I love to use, um, foam interfacing, and it's already quilted on. And here is more rainbow fabric. Again, these were like the two pieces of backpack. It was way too big. It was, it's not good. Um, my logo patch that I had made a long time ago. So anyways, I'm repurposing this fabric and making it into this sidekick to go over the top of the cart. So the bottom of the cart, so this will go on like the outside. So it'll flap over the front and it'll be kind of something that I don't have to take on and off because it can stay on. And it'll be able to house um, in this front pocket, I'll be able to put lots of things that I want to keep on the cart like all the time. Like it'll be a good place to stick my MP3 player, MP3 player, my Bluetooth speaker, you know, lots of different things um, can go in those pockets. My water bottle can slide in there. Lots of things like that. And then the big basket where I'll put my basket of instruments. And I might, I actually have multiple baskets of instruments, but my mixed instruments will be the bottom, which is what this, this is right? That'll be the mixed instruments. So I thought this fabric, well that it like all coordinates. Isn't that so fun? So this will be the lining. And I'm thinking of making some kind of drawstring or something at the top. So that's what I have to plan out. Um, I'm not going to have a lot of time to do all of that right now, but I'm going to start planning and drawing out some patterns because obviously I have to match it to what I made, which matches the basket um, the black um, headliner vinyl. So this is the size of the lining, but then do I want it to have handles? Do I want it to have a drawstring? How far on top do I want the fabric to come up? Um, those are the things I'm gonna start thinking through and planning out how I'm gonna cut the fabric to make best use of both my sewing skills and best use of the fabric. And then that way I can drop it in and sew it all together like what's going to be the best process, right? So that's, I'm now going to be in that research and development phase. And soon I will show you a finished product, I hope. I don't know if it'll happen in the month of February, but this is a work in progress now with this fabric. And now I've told you about my sidekick with this fabric. And that is now a work, that is another work in progress. And those will all go for my fixed grocery cart hooray i fixed the wheels thank you zip ties zip ties they make everyone says you can fix anything with duct tape i think i think duct tape and zip ties you can do pretty much anything not just duct tape you also need zip ties all right i think that's enough for this morning i don't know where the rest of my day will take me but i'll try to take you along bye